Ray Nagin was uh, mayor of New Orleans from 2002 to 2010. Of course, famously, uh, Hurricane Katrina happened in that time. Uh, you know, there was a lot of question as to how he responded. Some thought, in some cases, bravely, and in other cases, uh, our people would argue the opposite. But uh, charges were brought against him having nothing to do with that, but having to do with corruption. Well, uh, those charges have now been settled, and not to his favor. <laughs> so on these issues, he's literally guilty. Uh, in fact, he was charged on and convicted on 20 counts. Uh, what were they of? Uh, guilty of bribery and fraud. That doesn't sound too good. And uh, what did he do in specific? He took hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes and kickbacks. So the FBI investigated him, the IRS investigated him, New Orleans Inspector General inspected him, and uh, guess what they found? A lot of bribery. <laughs> and it was one witness after another now look, they all got deals, right? And it was part of the prosecution effort. Uh, but at the same time, the jury clearly believed them, right? And it was a lot of witnesses saying, it was a thinly veiled bribe here, a thinly veiled bribe there. As Mr. Nagin would bring them in the office, well, wouldn't it be nice if uh, my, for example, my son's company got a nice contract from you guys? They're like, well, that wasn't really that unclear. <laughs> it wasn't that subtle. So and then they would do that, and then uh, all of a sudden they would get the government contract with the city of New Orleans, as an example of many different things that he did wrong. And so in the beginning he was charged with bribery, wire fraud, money laundering, conspiracy, filing false tax returns. Uh, and, uh, and of course the great irony is, when he had campaigned 10 years ago on what he was going to do as mayor of New Orleans, it was to clean up the corruption. All right, now my favorite part of the story is the specific uh, bribes. It was funneling money and granite to a company called Stone Age. That was a company run by his sons. Who gets bribed in granite? <laughs> Dude, first of all, memo to politicians. It's perfectly legal to take bribes now. They're called campaign contributions, independent expenditures. When you leave office, they hire you as a lobbyist, they hire you as a lawyer, they hire you as a consultant. There's, so, there's millions to be made in legal bribes. You knuckleheads, why are you taking bribes in granite? <laughs> Maybe that's because he's from the Stone Age. Well, I'll tell you this, apparently the prosecutors had a rock solid case. <laughs>